Pennsylvania, I was about to say, Pennsylvania is trying to pass the don't say gay bill, like in Florida, and... Are you serious? Yeah. The uh, uh, governor has vowed to veto it. I, you know what? I did see that. <laughs> I did see that, and I saw that he said he's going to veto it. I, I just... Now, my, the don't say gay, I didn't issue. read into what exactly that even, it's, what what exactly does that mean? Like, they can't say it in school, they can't say, like, what do you mean don't say gay? Like, is What's it like a school thing? What's going to happen if you do say it? You could get removed from your job, especially if you're a teacher. If you say gay? Like, if you mention, like, yeah. That's dope. Don't they know that gay, actually, the word gay means happy? You know, it limits, jolly full. It limits all discussion on the matter. Yeah. It limits, you can't bring up sexual orientation, gender issues in school. It's called, it was also, it was formerly called the Parental Rights and Education Bill. Huh. Classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties on sexual orientation or gender identity may not occur in kindergarten through third grade or in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students in accordance with state standards in other grades. It explicitly states that parents may bring an action against a school district to obtain a, declar a declaratory judgment and a court may award damages and attorney fees if it finds that the school violated the measure. But the weird thing, well, not the weird thing. The terrible thing is, he says he's gonna veto it, but he's up for re-election. Like, he, yeah. he gets to vote for a new governor in November. I'm just like, okay, so this is like kindergarten through third grade that they're talking about this. I'm like, why but is this a an issue? No, like, it's an issue because you can't even, like, let's say- Little Timmy th No, there are a lot of gay teachers. You can't even, have a rainbow or anything gay memorabilia at like your desk as a teacher. Wow. Because you you cannot express your identity as a teacher in that space at school because Which I get that. I mean I kinda get it, but at the same time I'm kinda like you are that do they mean like in a classroom with children or like if you're in the office or something like that? Like Like if you don't even have to be teaching. You could just have a picture of you and your wife or you and your partner at your desk. Oh, and then if the topic comes up, you're not allowed to go into detail about your orientation. Well, not detail, but not even a generalization. Oh, is that your wife? Yes, you can't say that. Yeah, you can't do that. Oh well, fuck, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why a lot of Thank teachers in Florida. That's why a lot of teachers like, in Florida quit. That's why I couldn't understand. I'm like. I thought they meant like, you know, the kids were like talking to each other like, you know, I'm gay. A lot of gay what teachers. I feel like that would be a lot of gay teachers are like afraid to like even like be themselves or like be, because they're afraid because the parents are the ones policing. Because the next thing is gonna be if they suspect that you are. You know what I mean? Because how far are they gonna take all this? Oh no, the justice was it Scotus, Clarence, whatever his name, I think his last name is Thomas. Yeah. Oh, um, he said he wants to go for uh, birth control next because he doesn't think birth control should be a thing. And then he wants to go for same-sex marriage because he doesn't think that that should be a thing. And people are people are laughing at him like, you want to overturn everything, but that they want to go back to like he's married to like a woman that is not black and inter he's in an interracial relationship. And so I was like. Technically, in that time, you couldn't even marry your wife, sir. That part. Right, but that's like, I feel like they're going, I'm over here like trying to sip and there's nothing in here. Like, what are you drinking? This, some, here, I'll pour you out something. Some states within the next month are signing and making it valid that you cannot have an abortion. And some states are working on measures that make it that you can't, for IUDs and whatnot are being oh, illegal. illegal. <laughs> Handmaid's so we're living in the literal sense of handmaid's tale. So Only just more stupid. Just anybody who has not seen that show, see it. But we should definitely stop 
you don't even need a fictional show to relate it to because this things we're like, living it. No, like things like this have happened in the past. Yeah, especially yeah, with black yeah. women. Yeah, I just find that comical because it's like we go around in a, a circle and we always wind up back where we're. Still. And they're considering <laughs> like miscarriages, like they're they're. I saw the um one of the hearings. And they were saying that this one guy was like, well, I don't care whether, what, there's no reason for an abortion. There's, I don't care if it's rape. I don't care if it's incest. I don't care. There's no reason to abort a child. I was like, oh, okay. But it's like, okay. that, unless <laughs> it's your mistress. Right. Unless it's him it, and it's, right. That makes it even more of a reason to get an abortion. Like, you should be able to control have, your body. Yeah, you should be able to control your body. Body, and since they have the Roe versus Wade is overturned, mm -hmm. like you should be able to have a choice. Like you could have got raped on the subway, wherever, and you could have ended up pregnant. And, and you then, don't want to keep that. Like, yeah, you don't want to keep it because that's like. Or that, it could be like a problematic pregnancy. Yeah, like you could be pregnant, and it's you know it's. A, a, a danger to the the mother and she's like I would want to live and I'd rather just terminate so I don't put myself I in think, danger I think that they can I think that they should like depending on the situations of of why you want to get rid of the baby because of well I know they won't take it but like if you have a traumatic incident or whatever they should sit there I and think that they going? should stop telling people what to do, especially women. If y'all want to do that, y'all better do it on the other side, too. What about these men? What about them? Like, do Amy. they, is there some sort of uh, vasectomy rule or pill birth control for them? Because the whole, we didn't do it to ourselves. We didn't just lay down and be like, you know what, today is Tuesday. I'm going to, I want to be pregnant. So, Amy um, Cohen, Amy Barrett person, she, what did she say? She basically alluded at the fact that there wasn't enough kids to be adopted, so she, <laughs> that's why she's excited about um, abortions being overturned because. <laughs> wow. And it's funny because one of I was on TikTok and there was a woman. She said, "I was uh, given up for adoption when she was born." And she said she went through a lot of traumatic things in the system that she wouldn't wish anyone to go on, go through. And adoption is not like this all end all be all type situation because a lot of these kids don't get adopted. Right. And <laughs> the system does not care for them. Because everybody wants babies. And that's so sad because there's a lot of kids they, they that want babies. <laughs> there's a lot of kids that's been in the adoption uh, agency for years 15 20 years mm -hmm. well it can't be over 18 but yeah but it's, it's just a shame it's like somebody that's, I think that we have a lot of ignorance in these people who are putting forth these bills and these trying to pass these legislation because they're just spouting who's gonna, take, just saying who's gonna take care of the children Will they get good education? Like, if they really care about the children, we don't have good education and good health care. They're not really about bettering the quality of life. They just right. want to see women struggle. And have uh -uh. I don't. So the their US solution. The birth rate has fallen by 20% since 2007. Because ain't nobody want no kids. We don't have enough room for the people we got. It all started apparently in the Great Recession back in 2007 and for almost three decades between 1980 and 2007 and uh, the birth rate hovered between 65 and 70 births per thousand women between the ages of 15 and 44 and the decline as of 2000 the U.S. birth rate was 55.8 births per 1,000 1, women between the ages of 15 and 44 a decline of almost 20% the rate of 69.3 I still don't see what the problem is like we already have an overpopulation of people mm -hmm. so I'm like oh we don't need people controlling this is another you way know what the, issue people is? the issue is right now millennial well most of millennials didn't have any children so 
it's a, it should be time, about time, for their kids, if they would have had kids, to go to college. It's money. Everything surrounded by money. There's not enough people buying into colleges. That means we not didn't enough have people kids. in the... We didn't have kids. And the boomers, they're getting old enough where they need someone to take care of them. And they're well. aging out of these jobs, and no one wants these jobs. And we're actually... I guess it's a sustainability thing. That's why they want, but it doesn't make any sense. That's because still if, people don't, if people don't want to have kids, they're not going to have Right. Kids. So y'all going to force everybody to have kids or, or oh, well, you, you can't have an abortion. You get pregnant. I oh. wouldn't even be surprised. What? If they start forcing. That is what they're doing. They're literally forcing people to have kids. I know, I know, I know. Because they sat there and they're taking if They start away. birth control. And the thing is, it's like they're always talking about, oh, we're going to cut off welfare. We're going to cut off Social Security. Go ahead and do that shit now. And see, you want everybody to have kids. All these people going to be out here having kids. And then what? Apparently, a smaller workforce and an aging population would have a negative implications for economic production. Money! Money! Yes. Money. Money. That's, that's all they all care about is money. See. It's a bottom it's line. Money. It's money. It was, yep. They said it, according to... There's not enough... Just like the stimulus. It doesn't stimulate the economy. If you don't have enough people buying product and spending money or making money to put the money back into the economy, then, oh my God, what's going to happen? We don't look so great and so powerful to other countries. According, according to EconoFact, uh, the combination of both of those things could put pressure on social insurance programs like Social Security that rely on tax payments from current workers to pay the benefits of current retirees. I guess there aren't enough kids to help fund. They was going to cut that shit off anyway. They threaten to do that all the time anyway. Like, they're always talking about cutting off Social Security. But Pat's always talking about how... We don't need any more people. We're good where we're at because the planet is overpopulated. Yes! I mean, think about it. If y'all... Okay, so here's me. So the United States is complaining because there's not enough kids and not enough people, right? But then we want to stop people from coming into the country with their kids that can enter the workforce and stimulate the economy, Right? It's y'all are working back. You're working against your own ideas. Like it makes no sense. China's overpopulated. Korea's overpopulated. Let them come. <laughs> like they're working. Come. They're working backwards. Yeah, I'm like it don't make no sense. We're fine. The demand. You're gonna make the demand. Like the demand is already high for everything right now. Right. Everybody needs gas. Everybody needs food, and, and everything's inflated. Let's throw a whole bunch of more kids into the mix so every the demand can get even higher and we can't answer to the supply. We're already having a supply issue. We don't need no more kids. You know, and and that and especially not like that. Oh, you can't get an abortion. Oh, you can't use birth control. That's going to make everybody have kids. No, that's going to make them do the opposite. Definitely not having no kids. No. Nah. Cuz there could be like I said complications. You could go and get checked and they say something like you nor the baby are going to survive or, or, or whatever. And if you can't abort, then you know, that's not an option. And some people just don't want fucking kids. Like, so wait, so if, so if, you know, you're having complications and you go to the uh, doctor's oh. office and they're like, okay, well, you know, you... You're going to lose you and the kid, so you have to pick one. Are they, is a girl there going is, to sit there? There is, no pick, there is no pick one. Oh, don't wait. There is no pick one. They've taken that option off the table. There's no pick one. You are going to have that baby. <laughs> you are so going, I'm going to, to die while having you. You probably will, but the baby will be here. You know, he might have six heads, four arms, and have his heart, you know, on the outside of his body, but he's going to be here. Yeah, that that's that's fantastic. No, I don't know. I think it's all fucked up. I don't. I think people need to stop trying to tell people what to do. There, nobody's telling these men what to do. Nobody's come up with an idea for and then male birth control. Like, everybody who's in like protected states, because there are some states that they they won't like comply. They they're like, oh, we're gonna keep abortion legal. They're like, but it's not in my state. But you have to think about it. What's next? That. From that standpoint, just because it's not in your state doesn't mean it doesn't affect you. Mm -hmm. 
you shouldn't be like, it, well, it's not, well, it doesn't affect me. No, it should affect everybody yeah. else, in a sense. Because that's what you're right. right. No, we one's, talk. no one's free unless we're all free. So right. I said that. So, like, wait. So, then I go back to, um, so you can't leave the state if you're pregnant. In some, like that. In some, oh, yeah. oh, in some states, you cannot. So, like, what if I want to go on a cruise? I can't leave because um, I'm pregnant? You, you, most of the time, you can't go on a cruise pregnant. <laughs> but, but just saying I can't go out of town, no. you know, on a vacation. Especially if you're going to a state that abortion is legal. And they're, entertain, they're entertaining this idea that they are going to make people have take a pregnancy test before you go to a state that abortion is legal legal because they want to make sure that you're not fleeing to go have an abortion another way to control some people i'm like really it's insanity the whole thing is crazy i'm like are you the baby daddy no so don't worry about again (laughs) why is the focus all on women i'm like they didn't do this to themselves why are you controlling like that's gonna stop like a man can get a billion women pregnant in like one day we get pregnant we can only we have nine months and we get to pop out one time in nine months he can impregnate thousands thousands of women and get them all pregnant so who's the greater threat like why don't y'all regulate the men like put something make them drink something put some regulation make them take some sort of i don't know a pill or i don't i don't know you know because it just makes no sense to to force people into a corner. Because what's just, gonna, people are going to still have abortions. I just think it's, like, really unfair for women. Like, it's almost like, okay, so we're all here, and now you want to take our rights away, for, uh, our rights away for not having a baby and getting an abortion. You want to take that away. So, if we slip up and get pregnant, guess what? You gotta keep it. Like, that's not cool. What happened to women's, women's choice they don't and care. everything? I don't care. I'm they just, just like, they don't care. the world got more fucked up. Yeah, it's just that they don't, they don't care. You know, what's, and the thing is, it's like this, I believe that this is just them pushing the envelope. Let's see if we can get this passed. Now they have. So now it's like, oh, what else can we do? No, they already said they wanted to go for gay rights yeah. and control. They just, you know, they're just pushing it. Like, oh, what the, well, that worked out really well. Now on to the next. I just, oh, I just, I don't even know. I feel like we started the pandemic and we didn't know what was going to happen next. The pandemic started out fucked up. Then it just got worse. Then they tried to act like it got better. Well, I'm not even talking about that. It never got better. I'm just saying, like... But then they seriously fucked us. We can't do anything. Oh, it's going to get really bad because we have the wrong people in power. We have people that are... And then we have, like, I can't understand. Why are other women voting for this? Why are they in support of these things? I just don't... I'm... I am... I am very confused as to what woman in her right mind would think that this is a good idea. Women that can't get pregnant. It doesn't matter whether you can get pregnant or can't so get like, pregnant. So it's Why like, would you want someone to dictate your daughter's way of life? Why would you, if you have children or you have, especially uh, daughters, why would you, why would you vote for, be okay with someone telling her what she can and cannot do with her own body? Right. Or which, who she can be with or who she chooses to love or he chooses it affects everyone like you said it doesn't matter whether you're in a protected state it, it affects everybody because it's not just going to be this one thing it's going to continue to to snowball it's already they're already in talks and, and, and pushing the envelope and pushing more things you know I, I don't know it's a, it's a very very sad day Especially when you have people arguing over verbiage in the Constitution that hasn't been revised in 
Well, you have and if women cannot have abortions, like knowing whatever state that not meaning state as in Alabama, Louisiana, right, so right, 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 right. but no meaning state of mind, state that not even just state of mind, whatever happened, the reason why they became pregnant, like uh, they're going to start taking their own lives because you took that right away for. Them to, to do it in a safe environment, they could they could go to a doctor or a clinic or a safe environment. Yeah, now you took and that now and you're forcing people's hand to do it in back alleyways or in unsanitary places that they could be in danger. They could, you know, it's just I, it's just it's going to be a lot even, of problems. And it's even going to be even worse because people was like oh, sat there and everyone seen it like, oh really? Roe versus Wade was. Throwing out, oh yeah, I'm gonna go rape her so she can't do anything about it. She's gonna get pregnant. That way. No, no, I mean, but, but it's a, it is a possibility. But there is some crazy lunatics out there that are thinking that. I don't know. I think the whole thing is crazy, and it makes me look to other places to live. To be honest, because can't it's not getting any coming for you. I mean, but I feel like sometimes some of these things, if. If you're, it doesn't really matter what country you're in because if you have the wrong people in power, the wrong ideas in power, and it could happen anywhere. Anybody could get in power and just say, "Hey, you know, let's let's take that up too," you know. But it really does make me think, like, uh, you know, Africa's looking pretty appealing uh, at this point. You can Africa, Canada, yeah, anywhere but here, and that says a lot. Cause I don't, I don't want to live in a place where somebody's going to tell me what I can or cannot do, or tell little girls who they can or cannot be, or who they can or cannot look. And mm-hmm. if it comes to that, I'm out. There's no what. What is the appeal appealing factor for me to stay here at that point? Land of the free, home of the brave. What's the point? There's no land of the free. We're not free. They're bringing back slavery, and the next thing they're gonna be like, women can't vote. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like oh, does everyone know that? For them taking that right away from us women, that is that is low key, uh, like that is uh, putting the um, shackles on that you cannot do that, mm-hmm. and it's like that that's just something else, another woman's right that's taken away. That you know we can't sit there and, and speak for ourselves. And America ourselves. wants everyone to have babies, but they don't want to give them paid maternity leave. That part. Our child care, our, we can't even get baby food really. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. that. we can't even get formula. Have y'all figured that shit out? Why y'all were here talking about everybody need to get pregnant? Have y'all figured out the formula shortage? Because well, the boobies don't work. That's what I'm saying. Some people just don't want to breastfeed. It's not for everybody. Like. There's no baby formula. Have they all figured that part out yet? Like, it's become like gold. Like, they're locking the baby formula up. Like, there are padlocks. When you go to the store, you have to ask for someone to unlock it for them to open it up. Because it's Ooh. that in short. They start, oh, sneaky little motherfuckers. Ooh. But no, because they sat there and mentioned the world, world versus weight, you know. We want to get rid of it, and that's when, and that's when little, uh, like couple weeks later, start locking up formula. No, no they, they're already doing that. They're already doing it. I know. They've already, already been. They've it. already been doing it because there's not it's enough. Because people are expensive. stealing it. Y'all make formula almost unattainable. That shit. I watched. I went to Walmart today, and there was a can of whatever it is. I don't have any kids, so I don't. I don't know. But Sim- Similac, I think it's what it's called. Similac. It's fifty dollars for a little can. Of, I was like, mm-hmm. "How long does that even last?" I just wonder. Like, a baby can finish that in a few days and a week. I'm like fifty dollars. And then some people were like, some of the the formulas that were in there, they were like, some of them are like specific for specific things, and the regular formula is not there. They run out. I'm like. Okay, but y'all want everybody. Oh, we were at the store, and I heard, uh, and I heard this lady sit there and say that this, um, this Similac was, uh, the expiration date was from last year. I'm like, ooh, people selling the old Similacs, really? I mean, 
the thing is, like I said, when you push people into a corner, they're going to start trying to find ways to get around it. And some of those ways aren't always safe. But, you know, people have to do what they have to do. And you're going to force people to do things that are going to have bad consequences. <laughs> like, you know, you tell somebody they can't have an abortion or it's illegal. Just like everything else that's illegal, people still do it. They just find other ways to make it happen. You know, like, they're going to start finding home remedies. And it's crazy. It's the same people that are, like, they fly the Confederate flag. Like yep. you have that, you have that whole like demographic that, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, abortion is bad, but at the same time, the Confederate flag represents that they lost. Like you guys lost. You know, people that fly these Confederate flags and uh, no, I see them on a lot of trucks in Pittsburgh, and I I still don't understand that. <laughs> like I'm like y'all lost. Like, you don't realize they weren't winners. Like, that wasn't a winning team. It's like, your team, they lost. Like, you had better luck. <laughs> like, you had better luck being a fan of the Pirates than the Confederates. Right! Like, like why? 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 <laughs> very, very sad. North Carolina, they protested to the point where they took over the main highway. Dang. How many Pittsburgh bridges? is supposed to protest tomorrow, too. They protested today. How many bridges do we have in Pittsburgh? A lot. <laughs> like, no. Not as much as New York. No. Apparently, we're not the city of bridges. No, New York's the city of bridges. New York's the city of bridges, but we have about uh, we have a lot. 18. I don't know. I'm not even going to. I have no idea how many bridges we have. We have a lot of bridges, though. But, I don't know. I mean, I think protesting is great. We have 446 bridges. Damn, you said 18. <laughs> <laughs> she was close. <laughs> no, I was nowhere near close. <laughs> it's weird because this morning as I read that and we went out to the stores, I looked at, there were certain people that I kind of just looked at and I was in such a bad mood. So we went to Lowe's and I'm checking out. I had a couple of fence posts and a couple of cinder blocks, blah, blah, blah. And I had one of those big dolly things or whatever. And I'm checking out and this lady's like, you know, uh, hell, here's your receipt. And then she said, uh, do you need one of the guys, a guy to uh, help you load that into your car? And I know she didn't mean it the way I took it, but because my mind had already been bombarded with what it was bombarded with earlier, I took offense. I was like, no, thank you. First of all, I didn't know how they expected people to get back to work and women to get back to work after seeing that on a Friday. And they're like, oh, I business just, It just usual. messed up my whole day. You like business as usual. Like, how right. am I supposed to go back to business as usual when I woke up and I have less, I have less rights than I had yesterday? Yeah. Right. Like, uh... Business Let's send around a, a, a statement. Let's send around an email. Since what? we can't be trusted by our government to make our own decisions on our body, like, what if we just stop making decisions altogether? Like, exhausted. Right. Let's not make any more decisions. We're just going to decide not to decide. Just the entire female population stops voting, just stops doing everything. We'll just stop. Just everything that could possibly be useful or you ain't think is useful, just stop. Let's see what happens. Let's just crash everything. Because women are like a national treasure. Like, without us. No, no be no that. Hold on, wait. No, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Without us, there would be no babies. No, y'all would just die. Yeah, you would die. You would just die. There's no way that this economy would survive if women... Just decided to not. There are actually more women in the world than there are men. Right. We outnumber y'all. I don't without, get it. Without, without us women rule the world, there would, like, you, like, we sit there and we challenge you men and we, like, and you, and you really want to take that away from us? I don't even give a flying for falafel. To make First of all, yourself? let's talk about the economy. Okay, 
If you look at who makes most purchases, the most purchases, women, women do. Because we go to the store. Almost 80% of we products are there. aimed at women. We and are we, the stimulation for the economy. And we practically fix more. How much does Febreze make on their air fresheners? A lot, because who buys them? We do! <laughs> like, cleaning products. I mean, I'm not saying men don't buy that stuff, but I'm sure the Yankee Candle makes a killing off of us, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, Victoria's Secret, all these huge conglomerate companies that cater to women. We are the stimulation for the economy, so if you make us mad, we'll just stop everything. Just all of it. I won't buy that. One more thing. We will start making our own stuff because we can do that. No, it's weird. It, it brings me back. It brings me back to, um, what was it? Uh, you know how a lot of people demoralize the Black Panther Party? But the Black Panther Party was the reason that free summer lunch program and the free lunch program mm -hmm. exists. And uh, they were patrolling, they were actually like doing community patrolling mm -hmm. with guns until um, they decided to regulate guns because they're like, we don't need all these black people mm -hmm. legally with guns. Huh. <laughs> yeah. But thank you guys so much for not worrying about gun control and worrying about us little ladies. Because what if we just all banded together and made our own, like, party or whatever? And just, I mean, if we could just, I don't know. I'm not going to speak on it because it might actually happen. So, but I'm, I'm sure y'all can kind of get the gist of where I'm going with this. Is Black Panthers then? It might be something else now. You know, you didn't regulate gun control. There's just going to be a couple of, a little change. Because you can't stop. If, if we decide to mobilize, there's nothing they'd be able to do. We outnumber y'all. We outnumber you. There's, there's, there's 20 to 1. We outnumber you. So what was you guys win of the week? Oh, God. <laughs> Trying to squeeze my, my whole bunch. My bunch. Well, uh, sad news for me is... When I, of the week? Well, I know. When of the week. Yeah, what is your one of the week? Before, think of anything that was great before today. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing comes to mind. Ah, well, this is probably going to be your one of the week, but what? I'm taking it because it's my ah. one of the week. What? What is your one of the week? We are finishing. Well, we sat there and built a bench. Okay. Um. That. that no. No. There's no way. It was me. <laughs> it was all me. Don't let her make you think that she's out here excuse building me, excuse benches me, excuse me, or excuse doing me, anything. Excuse me, excuse me. If y'all are wondering it, it, what she's I actually doing, I have picture proof and video proof that she don't do I nothing. I sit here and I tell you where to put stuff. That is doing it with you. No. No. I tell you where to put stuff and how stuff looks. I tell you where you And I do the measurements. No. No. Don't ever look. Don't ever let her measure anything for you, because it will be off. She'll be like, yeah, you know that TV fits But right. wait, did I, did I, did, did I, did I not sit there and say that the fence is only going to take up this much? There's going to be this much left over, so you should get two. I want y'all to know got one. I had a measuring tape, and someone lost it. You lost it. So now she's trying how to be the my, heck is, my live measuring how tape. How the measures heck is nothing. home improvement lose home its improvement. own... Do I look like Tim Allen? I am not home improvement. Look at here. She ain't built nothing. She ain't do nothing. I All she did she didn't do nothing. I got her to pick up a bag of gravel, and that was the last she picked up anything. I have been slaving away, picking up stuff, drilling holes, pouring concrete. My job what is, is she very, been doing? excuse Sitting me, up under my job is very important. Gatorade. 
I am your companion out there. I can't do the hot hot hee hee. But she I sure sit can. there she be up under the and doing that. I'm your companion. And you broke my umbrella. I didn't break it the, the weather broke Now it. I need a new one. But no, my, my win of the week. What's my win of the week? I'm trying to think of a really good win of the week. Um, I mean, I guess, well, no, I don't want to even say that Yara was a win of the week, because that's a work in progress. Uh, ah, my win of the week, my it. win of the week is that we went to, uh, Cleveland to go see my sister's Juneteenth, uh, concert with her, uh, her, um, her company, uh, Joppo. Uh, dance and drum and went to go see a friend do a concert uh, Weedy Braymon and Hands of Time and I got to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame which was fantastic and got to see my sister's new uh, space so that was my one of the week because that almost didn't definitely, happen definitely definitely but definitely. it was it was really great we bought t-shirts and everything and yeah that was that's, that's all I got what my one of the week is I got a new write, a paid writing gig with a local newspaper here, and uh, which newspaper? I got to play The Sims till 2 a.m. after I finished like one of my to do this. Cool. <laughs> Welcome to Housewine. Um, I took up gardening today, so <laughs> I'm exhausted, and I went to two meetings. So back to back <laughs> in person, not Zoom. And they were both draining. And today, Roe versus Wade was overturned in the United States because we built a time machine and we went back 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, so oh. my best today. So what I, oh, I did my best all day. I did not say mean things to people, even though I wanted to say mean people. <laughs> mean people a thing because I am a nice person. Today we are keeping it simple and we are going back to our roots. We are drinking Barefoot Sweet Red Blend. It says it's smooth and sweet and 2016 Lone Star International Wine Competition at one goal. I guess go back to what you know every now and then. It says it's smooth and sweet wine blend with luscious aroma and flavors of black cherry and plum. Don't taste any of that. It just <laughs> tastes like sweet grape juice for adults. Mm -hmm. If that's your thing, like, you want to get drunk with sweet grape juice for adults. On a budget, this is what you go for. I don't even know. I don't even see a percentage on here. It's probably on the front. On um, the little side part. I got a little one. There is not a side part. Yep, I'm gonna move on a minute. There's alcohol in it. So There's careful. alcohol in it! Um. And I'm a rum girl myself. Um, I love a good beach. Mm. And Malibu is one of my favorite rums. But I'm balling on budget here lately, so sometimes it's, you just gotta treat yourself. But Malibu rum punch ready to serve cocktail, you can serve it over ice. One day it might actually be a good idea to freeze, freeze it, it and make it into I a know. slushie. That was my plan. I had a plan today, but plans. my itch and my mojo was just off. It's a uh, Caribbean rum with mango, orange, pineapple, cranberry, and coconut flavors. Mm -hmm. And it's 25 proof, 12.5% Oh alcohol. lord. Yep. What, are you, what are you doing? Yes, so we're doing our best today on the Roe versus Wade. America is crap. <laughs> I, I said go all the way back to the beginning. The first thing that you said, the first episode, <laughs> the world is the trash. trash. The world is it's, trash. It's really interesting because I compared the Roe versus Wade overturning to, um, I was like, I'm. I'm mad at SCOTUS, but it's more like when your parents say I'm disappointed in you. That part. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. definitely that part. It hits way harder. Like, I just, I just, uh, I'm not worried about it. Hi, I'm Linda.
and Z. You can follow me at Nicholson and 89. Follow me on Instagram. Don't follow her. <laughs> I'm so depressed. Yeah, don't. We're, we're really... I'm, I wish there was like some sort of graphic where I could just put like a gray cloud over us. And I'm you might see a gray cloud over us as I'm talking because I figured it out. But if you don't, just know it in my mind. And that's what I wanted. And if you know how I could do that, you can leave that in the comments. Because I feel like today is definitely a gray, rainy cloud day. Um, we, we're normally not this... Uh, this <laughs> It's just a bad day. I'm usually it's just a bad on, day. I'm usually not this organized to say my intro. We I got know. a lot of sarcasm going around. Yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. There's there's a, a couple of really R I P to women's rights. <laughs> We're gonna have a funeral. Um, the the we'll lead that pass one is gonna be held. That they have. <laughs> Yeah. Well, introduce yourself. Uh, is this because I'm so... You gave us that really good food, and that also almost... <laughs> <was just like, laughs> in your intro. I'm not. I just, I'm trying to find a way to come up with the energy. Not even the energy, it's the, the... Ah. Guys are struggling. It's really struggling. So, it's just such a fucked up day. But, um, it's not as fucked up as it could be, so... I guess you guys are here. Tell them where to find you. Chanel, you are now. It's Angel Lee TV. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. And if you're watching this right now, that means you are watching this on Bang Bang YouTube. And, you know, go to our, our page. Leave a comment. Post a pic. Post a meme. And tag us in it. And we'll, 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 we'll comment back. We'll comment to everything. Um, leave comments down below. Let us know how you guys are feeling out there, because I know everybody, well, all, all the women, and, and some of the men, we do have allies, you know, there's some male allies out there, we just don't want to talk to y'all right now. Um, <laughs> but leave, leave a comment, let us know how you guys are feeling, how it affects you, if you got stories or something that you'd like to personally tell us, we were completely open for it. We're also always open for people to come and, and sit with us, sit with us, uh, get a glass. Tell us one of your favorite wines or what your one of the week is. I don't know. Just something, something. But we're here for all the nonsense. Uh, I wish we had a more happier thing. But today we're just going to drink our pain away. And we hope that you guys are somewhere safe where you can drink your frustrations away too. But thank you guys for watching uh, House Wine. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got for you today. Oh, it's so depressing. I know. I have nothing. I just, the world is crap. I just, I have nothing more to give. I just, I'm in. Someone said, how's the goatee going? And they said, well, I turned on the wrong burner, and I've been cooking nothing for about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have, do you have a favorite burner? I do. I do. It is the the one that's closest to. I like the front right one. Yeah. It's the. Yeah, front right. 